What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Jad here from Poopa Plow playing some more Farming Simulator 22. We're back on Haute Villeron, or however we'll say it, the French map. Let's get to it. Or I should say, let's get to the end cab time because we have, we have, wait, we gotta, hang on, what? Sound Trent? John? They launching? Testing. Oh, testing. Play testing. Uh, your ship twenty before the tower. Oh, just something at Starbase. Okay, I got you. All right, so there chat. A, uh, S. By the way, hi Trent. Hi Holy Goaty as well. Hello. What's up? I'm waiting for it. Oh. Wait. There's a uh, SPMT heading there. Oh. You're still smiling from your ear. Thank you, Hunter. I'm I'm glad that you uh I'm, I'm, did I make your day? Hey uh chat, the, the countdown is back up to twenty hours, by the way. Uh in case anybody was wondering. Um what do we have to do before I start the timer? I'll figure out what I have to do. Um feels fully see, uh... planted. Precision farming's coming out with. The I did see that. I didn't really look at it. I just saw that it was a thing, and kind of went, "Okay, you know," because. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know that I'll be using it a lot. You know. I don't I know. Like I'm we might be getting a John Deere sprayer out of it. Yeah. Boy, that's like a free add-on. Uh, worth 13. Missed a few weeks. Holy cow, it has been a few weeks, hasn't it? How's it going? Welcome in, first off. Uh, second off, what's the criteria for being done with a map? Uh, for me, I like to be done with a map when we have achieved total world domination. Oh, that sounds a little, a little suspicious this day and age, you know? Not like that, okay? Not with, you know, anyway. Uh, when we own everything, um, when we've achieved all, can't back up a trailer to save my life today, chat. Uh, when we've achieved all of our goals, uh, so for Elm Creek, let's say we, uh, we achieved all of our goals by owning the entire map. We had all the animals that we wanted, um, that kind of stuff. We had all the productions. <sighs> Hey, chat, you got those band hammers? Um, you know, it's it's that kind of stuff, right? All right. I don't think the goat's actually here right now. Oh, he is here. What's up? Hi, goatee. How's it going? Uh, all right. All right. Waiting for my dinner. I, why was your name John earlier in the game? Uh, I think we played the game last time, didn't we? Oh, you were all John last time, weren't you? Yeah. Okay, because I like saw you on the roof and I was like, you're wearing my same clothes in your... So if you notice in the game, hang on, we'll show chat. Um, I am John 1. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> goatee was in here. <laughs> and his name was John. Thanks, chat. We did the one of us. One of us. Yeah, yeah, okay. I remember that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We need to uh, just... Let's see. Let's just keep on... Yeah. Keep the time rolling, right? Just keep them rolling. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Dude is trying to get me to buy followers, by the way. Chad is why he got banned in case y'all didn't see it. So, you know. One of those bot accounts that comes in, their first message is buy followers and viewers. Uh, do we have. Yeah. We have beans to sell? We do have some beans to sell. Hmm. Let's sell some beans. Sell month. some beans? One more month. And we sell. Let's go. What's up, Trent? They had fun last night with the, the warships. Dude, warships was great last night. That was a blast. Um, John? What's up? 
It's just like the the timer for uh, for the in cap thing. Is, uh -huh. is kind of the same as when we started the last stream I was playing with I you. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. I have to start it here in a minute. Console has an auto load truck now. Awesome, Vigorous Bull. That's that's good news. That is that is good. I'm glad to hear that. All right, you want to grab a something and. We'll start running some wheat. Not wheat. Salt beans. Sarge? Afternoon. Howdy, howdy. How's it going, sir? Going hey, sir. good. Hey, uh, I just saw your message that you sent me last night before stream. Or yeah. sometime. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have seen that last night. <laughs> yeah. I. You could probably guess what my answer would have been. But it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you got a message about that topic from somebody else or not, but I sure did. I did, but come that time frame, uh, it was kind of too late, right? Yeah. Okay. It's all good. Oh, man. How's it going? Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. All right. So, so where's the side it's going? Going? The silage? Uh, silage needs to go to the biogas plant. Is that what's in our trailers? Oh, it is. Isn't yeah. It? it needs to go over to the BGA. All right. Yeah. And then we'll start. We'll haul. We, I mean, really, we only have. We have 59,000 soybeans. Should we just sit on them for a year? We could just sit on them, to be honest. Our fields are all planted in soy, right? Yeah. Do it. Hey, Carson. What's up? How's it going? It's What's going. up? Doesn't sound like you are, buddy. No? No. Did you just wake up? No. Love well, 6, what's going on? How you doing today? I've are watched you... two, two movies today in school. That's about it. Lazy. <laughs> lazy, lazy, lazy. Man. <laughs> Man, oh man. Nah. Yo, Shane, what's going on? How's it going? Uh, okay, you're going to do that, holy goatee. I was semi-productive in the time, too. Were you, though? What'd you do? Good talk. <laughs> All right, field 15. I'm going to do a cultivating contract. That sounds like fun. 15's not that bad. Not that bad. In here. Let's go. All right. In cab has officially started. Right back to 20 hours chat. Oh boy. Nice chat. And I kind of forgot what this game was like in cab for a minute, you know? <laughs> uh, said no one ever. Said no one ever chat. Golly. Oh, I got my new internet today. Oh, oh yeah? Today. Yeah. Am I moving? Ten times as fast. Now. I say, am I moving, moving in? You got a spare room? Yep, yep, yep. How fast is it? A thousand, thousand. Oh, my. You got that gig balance, bro? Yeah. No. 940 down, ah, 920 up. That's close enough. <laughs> It's never ending. No, it is going to end. Don't worry. Yeah, we're back to 20. So I owed you guys time the other day. So. It will end, chat. It will end. We're not adding any more time to it. I guess technically the... I shouldn't say that because technically the charity stuff is still going. Um, I will say, though, the, 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 like the, the donation I'll be making from like the worship stuff... I don't want that. That doesn't count. It doesn't count. Y'all can't make me make that count either, okay? No, that's not going to count because it's going to be like five more hours probably. And I don't know. Um, I'm good, you know? I'm good. Just throw it out there, Chuck. So they're putting fiber in all over my town, right? Mm-hmm. 
uh, are all over my county, I should say. Not just town, but county. Not so much my town, but county. And the other day, the company may have uh, um, made a house go boom. And uh, so, yeah, they've, they've been permit or well, temporarily at least. Uh, all their permits have been pulled. The company's been shut down, not able to work. Uh, <laughs> so fiber progress has come to a halt. <laughs> like, right now. Probably for the uh, future, too. Do what? They're probably for the future for that company. And, uh, and, well, down. at least the contractor that was doing the work, they're probably going to go out of business because that's the second gas line they've hit in two weeks. Uh, apparently, but... Yeah, the actual company might be in trouble, too. I don't know. They, they've been shut down as of right now, so... We still have six days and nine hours. Holy cow. Yeah, they, uh, it was, uh, it was something. Consolidated Communications. I've never heard of them, so no, it's, I'm, I wouldn't tell you the name, but I honestly have never heard of them. How do they make it go boom? Uh, you know, mad skills. Mad skills. Yeah. yeah. So you want the soybeans to be sold next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, no, it was a... Uh, kind of more of a... I don't know. Midwestern -y company. We'll say. But yeah, so they've been shut down, so... Yeah. No, there were no injuries. No, no, no injuries at all. No, no injuries. We're good. So, but yeah, it was uh, it was something, all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, Carson, that's such an old school story and joke. <laughs> there were no injuries. There were also no survivors. Wait. For those of you that don't know, there was a tornado one time that hit um, in St. Louis. And the night it hit was the night my sister closed on her house, or like the day my sister closed on her house. So my entire family was over at her house. You know, we're doing some cleaning and just, you know, checking out her house and stuff like that. Well, tornado sirens are blaring. So we all go huddling into her basement. She had like a bathroom down there. So we all literally went huddling down in the in the bathroom uh, in the basement. This is before we all had smartphones. I think there might have been like one or two in the family. But for the most part, we were, we were all on our dumb phones. And so like I'm calling my buddy Casey because we didn't even have a computer, of course. So I called my buddy Casey and I was like, dude, where's the storm? And he's like, dude, it's getting close. They're, they're talking, you know, they're naming our town on TV and stuff. And I was like, okay. Oh, my ping is not okay right now and so i was like oh man this is this is not good you know so we all go huddle it down the basement and after the tornado passed and everything calmed down i called my buddy casey and i was like dude what are they saying on tv he's like man it, it hit a hotel it hit a it hit a big hotel over in st louis and i was like oh man like how bad is it and he was they're saying there's no survivors and i was like what Dude, that's crazy. Like, you know, like a bunch of people just got wiped out in this like hotel, you know? And then later I found out on the news that there were also, um, there were no injuries either. So like nobody got hurt. But he told us there were no survivors. I think he meant to say there were no injuries and he said survivors. And it was hilarious once I actually found out like, yeah, nobody actually got hurt, you know? So I'll never let him live that day down. I'm like, yeah, there's no injuries. Or there were no survivors. There were also no injuries. I still... Hey, John. What's up? There's uh, four harvesting contracts. You guys want to do them? Go ahead. Fun. Come on. I'm working on uh, 15. I can help when I get done. When I get done, I can help you guys out. Yeah, because we don't need any equipment for that. We can just use our own, right? Absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. Hey. Pinnacle Logic, thanks for the 20. 
four biddies. I appreciate them. How's it going today? That was hilarious. And he's like, yeah, there's no survivors. Because, like, all of us are freaking out at my sister's house, though. You know, we're like, oh, gosh. Like, that's terrible. And, yeah, no injuries. That happened. Holly, my sister's had her house for a long time now. Before she got married, she had that house. Bet a minute, chat. Feeling old now. What's new? I know, right? It oh, happens. Man. I'm old from all this in-cab time. I haven't been getting any fresh air lately. <laughs> Being cooped up in here. At least there's no uh, flatulating in the cab today, you know? I'm saying. I still don't know what's up with that, Carson. I'm going to work on it tonight after stream, by the way. What? Why everything is so quiet. Like the sounds. I don't, I don't understand. Even Brian's kind of quiet, I feel like. Let me guess. You probably hit a fader. Uh, no, I didn't touch it. So. Mm. I was going to restart PC tonight. Well, I've got a Windows update, so I bet you'll get one soon. Uh, you know, it might have started with a Windows update, to be honest. No. Oh, I said yeah. I did mine last night. Uh, we're... Right? Actually, yesterday, I don't know what was going on. I just heard on the scanner... Uh, firefighter go yeah there's an odor of gas can we get the gas company and i was like oh god here we go again part two <laughs> i really did i was like hey oh, at no. least you had your scanner on for that one yeah i missed the other ones yeah it was kind of sad i left skipper yeah, i had to tell you about it yeah it's i told my dad i was like yeah carson snapped me or carson like you know dm me about this thing and he's like what i was like yeah, Carson knows what's going on in our county more than I know what's going on in our county. <laughs> Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Plus, it's always weird because that the oddball chance you have your scanner off, it's always something like big. Oh yeah, there's yeah. Which I always have my scanner on. I'm always listening to my scanner. But, the, but, but the, like the little time it's off or like muted, it's or like something if I'm crazy. just not at my PC and not listening, yeah. There's always something crazy. I like he's what, always like, man, I wish I had my scanner on for that or I was listening to it. Did you see what Shane said in the group chat? Yeah. I guess he didn't realize what that was, maybe? No. Okay. That had to be gunshots, right? I don't know what else it would have been. Because there's not a person out there. Because it's in the, Okay, so chat. The other night, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm sitting out here. I just finished up my editing. And... Uh, I was actually waiting to see how long, because I've decided with the Warship streams, I'm just going to put those up as one, like, long chunk, you know, instead of doing, like, separate videos. I don't know why I decided that, but I did, right? don't have a thought process for you. That's just what I decided. So I wanted to see how long it was going to take to render, you know, a four-hour video, just, just for funsies, because I don't ever render four-hour videos. And so I'm sitting here watching, like, the timer count up, you know, to how long it's going to take. And, uh, which, by the way, it took... A little less than four hours, but you know. And all of a sudden, man, I hear like seven. Just it sounded like an AR style, like a bigger. It wasn't a pistol. But in the video that I have from the camera, that's it's. There's a camera that I have, and I'll tell you where this one's at. I don't care. You can, whatever. It's sitting inside of one of my living room windows, pointing through the through the glass, right? And in the camera, it sounds like somebody's. Thud, thud, thud on the window, like tapping it on the window. Sounds like someone was knocking on the window. But there was nobody out there because I would have, there would have been clips from other cameras that would have triggered um, and recorded clips because the other cameras don't record all the time. They're like the wireless ones, they'll only record if there's motion. So, but the one in the house records 24 7 because it's wired, it's, it's plugged in USB. So, kind of weird. Cabs to skin marks, yes, we're back up to 20 hours again. Absolutely. It's for a good cause. Remember that. Gotta keep telling myself that shit. But anyway, so in the video, it sounds like somebody's like thudding on the window real hard. But being that I heard it with my own ears, that was, being that I heard it with my own ears, I could tell it was uh, off a little ways, you know? It wasn't anything to do with my house. It might have been a spooky ghost, actually. Yeah. 
spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down my spine. You know, like that. It's haunted. It could be. My front yard could be haunted. Yeah. Shane, congrats. Stop talking. Well, hi, Shane. Congratulations on being graduated. <laughs> it's when you get Damn. a job. <laughs> Wait, he has like three. He works. Never mind. Or two. Congratulations, Shane. Line up, line up, line up. But they were definitely gunshots, and I, I would, I almost called it in to be honest. But I don't know where they were at. Mister Clean, dude, that was freaky shit. Don't get me started on Mister Clean, bro. That one actually like terrified me, bro. Not gonna lie. That was that was too spooky. Forgot about that. I have that picture on my phone somewhere. So yeah, Shane, that's what was in that video uh, on the snap. That was definitely gunshots off a little ways. Cause like I hear, you know, being out in the farm a lot, you know, we hear gunshots off in the distance all the time. There's always somebody out shooting. So like hearing gunshots in the distance is not unusual for me, at least at the farm. But they've been. Yeah, see, I got a neighbor that's. Uh... Yeah, but you're out in the country, so it's like it's normal. Not a big deal. Where I live, it's not normal at all. But they've been threatening gunshots. So people, you can't discharge a firearm in the city limits. That is technically illegal. Um, so either way, it was illegal. Um, yeah. But I don't know, because they I turned on my scanner right away and listened for like 20 minutes, and nothing got called in on the scanner. If something would have gotten called in on the scanner, but they're like, yeah, not quite sure, I possibly would have called in and just been like, hey, I definitely heard them. They were east of my location. There were seven of them. So, Subway's bread has so much sugar it can't be considered bread. What? Yo, Doug, with the left field comment of the day, how's it going? I keep leaving Skipper's chat. I gotta quit doing that. It is a contract. I don't actually have to do the whole fields. Fine. Hi, Doug. I did not know that. I, I honestly can't tell you the last time I ate at a Subway. If anything, their cookies are like the bomb.com. Chocolate chip cookies? Oh my god. No, Shane. The timer is not a 24-hour stream timer. The timer is for how much more time I have to spend in the cab. Because of uh, No Kid Hungry, raising money for No Kid Hungry, uh, people donated each hundred dollars, got a hour in camp time. So yeah, feel the news. Yeah, cap skid marks, stuff like that happens every single day um, in a lot of places that you just never hear about. It'll not, it won't be on the news. Nobody called it in. So how would the police even know if nobody called it in and nobody like it didn't get dispatched to to an officer? Um, to be honest, just stuff happens and, and you just never know about it, you know? Um, being that I listen to the scanner as much as I do, I'm aware of like what's going on around me a lot, but if you don't listen to the scanner, it, there's just a lot of stuff you would never know about, you know, just a lot of stuff that you would, you just wouldn't have a clue, you know? There's a lot of bad stuff that happens that you just never hear about, even if you do watch the news. And, um, you know, at least where I live, being that I don't actually live in the St. Louis, St. Louis, um, there's a lot of stuff that happens out here that just the news in St. Louis doesn't cover. You know, I mean, obviously, if there's a murder or something big like that, of course, yeah, it makes the news. But there's just a lot of stuff you never hear about. 
because they just, you know, they rather talk about, you know, murders, to be honest. And there's plenty of those happening in St. Louis every day, so. Uh, so I, if I'm on the PC, I'm on uh, the website called Broadcastify. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you what scanner I actually listen to or like what county. Um, but I listen to Broadcastify and then if I'm on my phone or if I'm like mobile, uh, so like when dad and I are going to and from the farm a lot of times, I'll uh, fire it up. I use an app called uh, Scanner Radio. And again, I'm not going to tell you what I actually listen to, like which channel. There's a lot that doesn't come up on the scanner. A little prawn. There's some that doesn't come up on the scanner here, but I would say most of it comes up, you know? Maybe it was the police that were shooting. Now they would have called out shots fired over the radio. The weird thing is in the video, if you listen to it, like with headphones on the video that I, that I have for my camera, you can hear a siren like a cop car going down my major road as the, be it, as the shots happen. So it's like, what, what is going on? St. Louis, St. Louis. Is that like New York, New York? Uh, kind of. Cause there is St. Louis city and St. Louis County, Doug. St. Louis city is like the smaller, the really bad parts, you know? And then St. Louis County is like, you know, the airports in St. Louis County, the Ferguson, probably heard of Ferguson. That's in St. Louis County. My grandma used to live in St. Louis County. We lived in South County. South County is a good, good area. North County, mid, mm, not, not North County. North County is rough. South City is really bad though. But South County is not bad at all. Broadcastify has an app, do they? I like Scanner Radio. I paid for the premium one like years ago, and so I don't get ads or anything. I didn't know broadcast if I had their app or their own app. Um, yeah. I guess I know. The world may never know. Yeah, Skid Marsh, you're not wrong. I'll probably never know where those shots were at. Mid County. Well, so like Mid County is where like it's kind of like the, the fancier part. Especially if you're in like mid, like the west part of the county, that's where like your your uh, oh god, like your Chesterfields out there, and like your Frontenac, and I said Chester's. Yeah, Chesterfields is the fancy rich where all the rich people live. But even well, even like Creve Core, um, it's kind of your nicer parts of St. Louis. Your more upscale, higher end stuff. You know, so Creve Core is really nice. I don't live there, that's for sure. So Vegas Bowl, they do have what they call Channel 2. Um, and they'll go to that if they need to on the PD side. Um, there are other channels that I can't hear, of course. Uh, like if there's a SWAT situation, of course that goes to a channel that nobody can hear. Back radios. Um, do what? Back radios. Yeah, they have, they have tech channels, yeah. But for the most part, even if there is, say, a SWAT incident, it still starts on the main channel. You know, so you still know something's going on. They'll call for SWAT on the main channel, you know, before it gets moved to, you know. Chesterfield is a couch in Canada. Yeah, tech channels, there you go. Now on the, on the Fire UMS side, I can hear all the tech channels. We got we got all the tag channels here. I can hear them all. Like yesterday, they might have had like four tag channels in use at the same time. That was a little chaotic, you know. Just throwing it out there. So yeah, it was it was kind of kind of crazy. But yeah. Hi, Bert. Uh oh. What? What? In my area, Bert? Really? Because it wasn't like... It wasn't that far away. And it was... I'm. You know I'm not in, like in St. Louis in St. Louis. You know that. Interesting. 
Interesting. All right. Very interesting. That or like somebody going down the highway blew out seven tires at the same time. That could have been too. <laughs> I don't think that's what it was though. I really do think it was it was shots that I heard. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I got your bigger spoil. Yeah, they don't they don't do that here. Occasionally, like I said, they'll go to channel two. Or if it's like a like a say a cop's going in to clear a house, they'll just hold the main channel. They put a marker on there so it does like the beep beep thing, and everybody else knows if there's traffic they need, they go to channel two. Otherwise, stay off the radio. Uh, as far as the PD side, you know. Select star from how are you doing today? Welcome in. Wow, Cap Skin Marks, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, that's like downtown St. Louis, like all night long. But I live 40 minutes away from St. Louis, you know? Roughly. You know, I don't I don't live in the city and I definitely don't want to. No thank you. Way too many issues down there. And we have these four-wheeler gangs, by the way, which would be kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. But, like, all these dudes get together all night in St. Louis and just ride four-wheelers around. Of course, they're causing crime and stuff, too. But without the crime part, the rest of it would be kind of fun, you know? You know? That part would be kind of cool. Cities are overrated, Fire Shadow. I agree. They're fun to visit, but that's about it. You just get used to it. Yeah, unfortunately, you do get used to it, you know? That is that is what it is. You just get used to it. That sounds very... No, dude, they're like... They're like the hoodlums. It's like part of the like actual like gang members and stuff in downtown. That's what they do. That's how they get around. Because it's fast and they can sneak down like alleys and get away from cops and stuff. Yeah. And I'm assuming not to make any assumptions about, you know, gang members, but I would assume that most of those foilers are stolen. You know. Cops that end up in a ditch every night. Oh well. I don't want to make any assumptions about gang members chat. Sorry. Sorry. Wouldn't want to do that, you know. But, you know. Their hunting season or somebody celebrating that up. Nice. Yeah, like I was saying before, though, like, if I'm at the farm and I hear a gunshot, it's like, okay, whatever. No big deal. Some rednecks out having fun, you know? But here in town, it's not a normal thing. Especially at 3 o'clock in the morning or 2.40. 2.39, I think it was. 2.40, somewhere in there. It's not normal. Uh, Mr. Burt, we are up to... 34. We're up to 34. Hey, Goaty, you still there? Uh, what do you need, Serge? I need one of the trail. Oh. He needs a trap. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just eating my foodie. Okay. Have we run into invisible pals with the autoload mod? No. I have not. I have not. Uh, this is a contract. I think I ran into one, but I thought it was just my lag. The price of ammo is so high, nobody shoots anymore. It's true. You watched the launch this morning? No. Was there a launch? Yep. 
to. Oh, yeah. In time, everything is going to be digital and you won't be able to listen. Exactly. That's going to be sad when that happens. It really is. Oh, Rob. Thanks. Thanks, Bert. Where are you at, uh, Sarge? Um, west of you. I will oh, say. West, field 9. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I, I, I kind of had, I, you know, I I went into the whole sponsor thing with warships, like, Coming. confidently, you know? Like, I figure, kind of figured we were going to do it, right? But to see it actually happen, I'm just very grateful. Just saying. So, yeah. Oh, Shane, you're good, bro. Shane Holly, you're totally fine. All good. All good. I don't expect anybody to be here, but, you know, me. Now we have two Shanes. And some days that's questionable, you know? We do, yeah. <laughs> some days that's questionable, Chad. It's it's iffy if I'll make it or not, you know? <laughs> Just saying. I see the pick in the general. Or to serve jail time. Wow. That's funny there. Yeah, it was good worse. There's a, there's a, down in the country, kind of by the farm, there's the, the old farm church, you know? In a little town, every little town in the country's got a church, right? And there's a graveyard next to this church. Graveyard sits up a little bit. It's, it's elevated from the road a few feet, so there's a pretty aggressive, like, hill there to keep any cars out of the cemetery graveyard. They have this vinyl fence along there. Mm -hmm. I swear if it, if, if there's even a threat of rain, somebody takes the fence out. There has been more accidents on that corner. And it, it's just like, it's not that bad of a corner, and you're just like, how? It's kind of one of those things, like, uh, Captain yeah, Skidmarks is posting a picture up there in Discord. It's kind of the same thing. Carson, did you get Bert's whisper the other day? Mm-hmm. Apparently he said yes. All right. I keep forgetting how much, how many, <clears throat> how greasy fingers you get when you eat KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Are you eating KFC and farming right now? Yeah, that's that why KFC I was so... over there. Yo, RIP yeah. that keyboard, am I right? That's why I was so slow to repeat to Sarge afterwards. So, what do you, what do you, what do you, you wait, hang on. What, what is a holy goatee you get at KFC in Denmark? It's two pieces of chicken, hot wings, and f chicken bites. Oh, man. Bro, you're going to flip over your keyboard and, like, hit it, and, like, a drumstick's going to fall out, bro. <laughs> yeah. Be like, what did that get? You guys, you like some mashed taters? Is that a thing over there for you guys? Yep. That and coleslaw. That and coleslaw. All right. You ever had their mac and cheese? It's pretty good. No, we don't have that. You don't have that? No. Yeah, you don't have that. I can't move to Denmark now. Chat, don't worry. I wasn't actually. We had somebody in here from Denmark the other day. Holy goody. I forget who it was now. I don't speak to Danish people. <laughs> you actually don't. You're right. You guys don't get along, right? No. They hate me. Yeah. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> at, least the, at least the feeling's mutual. That's why m many of my drivers in the company is Polish. They love me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I forget who it was, but they were in, in Denmark, too. They're like, if you've ever heard of that. And I was like, yeah, I have heard of Denmark. <laughs> I should have been like, y'all go hard for soccer. I've seen, I've seen videos. <laughs> y'all are crazy. <laughs> chat they're insane for their soccer football insane if we did that kind of stuff over here we'd all get arrested uh -huh. they had like full on fireworks chat in, in the soccer like in the stands at the soccer game full on fireworks <sighs> Crazy. it's called having a party apparently we don't know how to party over here then <laughs> We just get arrested. We used to. That's yeah, true. Yeah, we used to. True. Holy cow. Where is Denmark? Uh, it's over. It's over yonder somewhere. 
I right? don't know. I think it's fake. <laughs> if you asked me to find Denmark on a map, I don't know that I could. You know, like <laughs> when all of them were doing like the, like the test things online. Like, you know what continent this is, or like yeah. what country this is, yeah, or yeah, the yeah. states. Yeah. Bring it back. I want to see you do. Them I'm all. failing all of them. Can you? I want to see. Can you do the fifty states? Can you do the countries? Fifty? Can I do all fifty states? So. I could probably do most of the states except for a bunch of them little ones over there in the east coast. Like you the know? colonies. Like the like the the Maine and the Rhode Island and like that stuff. How'd you get Rhode Island wrong? I don't, I don't know. We're off on the road to Rhode Island, you know. Near the Netherlands, south of Norway. Yeah, it's across the pond. Yeah. Yeah, Holy Goddy, what time is it for you right now? Uh, hey. just about eight in the evening. Yeah, it's eight o'clock at night for for Holy Goody right now, chat. Buddy goes. Buddy went. It's like three forty in the morning. I'm going to bed. <laughs> it's eight o'clock and dude, nothing says eight o'clock in the evening like some KFC. <laughs> KFC farm sim. <laughs> Breezy keyboard for the win. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if that's a good idea, but hey, whatever. Not my keyboard. I'd have to buy a new keyboard, bro. I can lie. There's not enough like Clorox wipes in the world to get right. that thing clean, probably. You have any like brake cleaner to get the grease out? <laughs> I bet that would really go well on your keyboard. Like right. Brake cleaner. Ugh. I, I would not recommend brake. No, it would eat the plastic. <laughs> uh, it would also have a potential leaving uh, a slight residue. Yeah. Well, then you got to hit it with carb cleaner, so to get that residue off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And instead of buying two things, just save a little bit. Just go with the electrical cleaner. The KFC, wow. Or, or just, just go straight to starting fluid. I it'll was be, thinking, like, match. a lighter. Starting fluid in a match? Just melt it. <laughs> it's like if you got glitter on it, you burn it. Oh, dude, I'm burning it. <laughs> we'll shut it down. <laughs> you know? if, it's got, if it's got glitter on it, I'm going to get like a hazmat suit on to transport this thing out. I don't out. know if I'm okay with it. 25. Can you need help with 25? Who's doing 25? And then it will go up in a fireball. I, am I, fireball. I had to hire a worker. I was having really bad lag issues. Lagging on me? Lagging? All right. I'll come over and help. By the time I get there, he'll be done, but that's okay. All right, so yeah, Carson sent a picture or a thing. It's, it's over there, you know, over yonder. You know, it's funny because without getting into like the whole Russia thing, but like a lot of people are like, you know, how close are the United States and Russia, right? A lot of people sure. don't, don't realize how close we actually are to Russia. And I say really we, close. I mean, I mean, yeah, Alaska. really close, but it's funny because when you look at the map of the world, you know, Alaska's on the left and Russia's on the right. And so you're just like, oh, they're really far apart. Well, it's, uh -uh, it wraps around. The world, the world's not flat, you know? Wait, it's not? <laughs> I mean, depends who you talk to. Watching movies in school? <laughs> huh, because they would even teach us that. Although that, that kit, kit Bogo, <laughs> when, yeah. he, when he pretends to be the old lady, he'll be like, what in God's green flat earth like every single time and it makes me laugh Greenland is part of Denmark yeah is it really well then my brother in law has been to Green or I think he went to Greenland he's right Cause... Donald Trump tried to buy Greenland from us oh okay alright and he got angry with uh, our prime minister because he, she told him he, he was a oh. uh, beep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't need to talk about that. There is a town called Copenhagen in Denmark. They must be red. So, uh, holy goody, Copenhagen. Ever heard of it?
never, he's probably never heard of us yet. I don't come there that often. You don't go there that often? Except for every day, no. right? <laughs> the girls are not pretty. They have a bad football team, and their food is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he likes that place. But see, what's funny is Holy Goaty didn't know that Copenhagen is like chewing tobacco here in America. <laughs> but we had that conversation a while back. We're like, yeah, it's chewing tobacco. Yep. Which I thought was funny. Very amusing. <laughs> Oh, good. oh, hey, we're just going to drive across the train tracks. All right. Okay. Hope there's no train coming. Whoa, whoa. Whack. <laughs> Playing a game all whack over here. Whack, woo, woo. Whack, whack, woo, woo. Um, Instead of the beep, it's just the, like the, the train horn. horn. Whoa. Confirm their rednecks. Wow. Wow. I think we named Copenhagen after their town. They didn't name the town after the chewing tobacco. I would assume that Copenhagen, Denmark's been around longer than Copenhagen, like, chewing tobacco, right? Just throwing it out there. Let me check up on that. I'm sure it's been around longer. I mean, it's a town. Come on been there longer. It's about uh, the first time it's mentioned in history is 800 years after I's death. Alright. So it's been around probably longer than the two tobacco. Okay. Probably. Uh, you watched... You know, Captain Skidmarks is funny. I haven't even watched the clip video yet. Whoops. Apparently there's something at the end. Turn your head to the right. Oh, yeah. They definitely named our town after the dip. Okay. Yep, Skidmarsh, did you see the thing at the end of the video? Because there's there's definitely something at the end of the video, I've been told. I haven't seen it yet. I still haven't watched it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Carson does a good job editing those, does he not, chat? He does. Uh, thanks for the uh, follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome in. Yeah, <laughs> Bart saw it too, huh? Coming soon, chat. Coming soon. I don't really know what we're waiting for. We were waiting for hats. They're supposed to be getting hats eventually. But I don't, I don't know when. I'm just gonna finish the entire field chat because I can. Do do do. Oh, it looks like someone got missed up there. But that doesn't matter. Okay, cultivating contracts are done and done. Uh, stars, do you need? What do you need up there? You need anything or no? Oh, goodness. Trey, what's going on? Welcome in. Need somebody without greasy fingers to drive a tipper for you? <laughs> <laughs> greasy fingers. <laughs> Holy goat, he's eating uh, KFC right now, chat. He's got greasy fingers. Well... The town isn't older than every town in the United States. It's true. Uh, Caps get a march. There's a mod called multiple contracts. Trey, you're enjoying, enjoying a day off. I'm great. Glad to hear you got the day off. Uh, yes. Hey, this got a full trailer here, huh? Let's go. Yep, uh, Skidmarsh, I don't know. That's weird. That's 
per what? Uh, thanks for the follow. One what per month? Uh, appreciate the follow. Welcome in. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Liam, my day is going well. Going good. How's it going? Okay, Carson. I got you. I got you. That is interesting, though. Um, yeah, it was a good verse. I don't know what to tell you on that. I think the problem that he's having is that there's mods that are on the server that are cross. He's on console. The other people he plays with are on PC. They say they're cross play compatible. They're on the server. He has them, but it shows left like he doesn't have them, I believe is the issue. Oh, one contract on the game. Uh, no, so you, the base game is three contracts at a time. But we have a mod. Um, we have two mods. We have refresh contracts and we have multiple contracts. So we can do both. But yeah. Uh, Clay, this is the uh, the, the French map. Hot Bailaron. Hot Bailaron. How are we going to say it? Welcome in, New Shatter. How you doing? Gotcha. On reinstall. Hmm. Yeah, I can't see the bars. I don't know what to tell you. It's really weird. I don't know what to tell you on that one, to be honest. Very, very strange. Um, what was I going to say? I need a job. I need a job. I need something to do. Our fields are done. They're growing. We have talked about buying some land. Um, but we only have $253,000. So that's like nothing, right? What other contracts we got to do? Bailing? No. I don't really want to do any of these contracts. Wish we had another uh, combine right now. I would take that. You know, would that just bring on? Oh, hey, there we go, Sarge. I'm coming to help you. <laughs> just got another, another, another combine. All right, we did it. That is really weird. Or you have what? I have a feeling. I got a feeling. <laughs> Are you guys arguing about a war right now? Are you guys arguing about a war that happened? Like, how many years ago? It's still ongoing. What? Yeah. It's a small island between Canada and uh, Greenland. Okay. And... I'm not sure <laughs> which part did it first, but... Either Canada or Denmark went and put their flag on that small island. So oh, so it's not really a war. No. And every year, the other country come back to the island takes down the flag and put their own flag and <laughs> leaves uh, like, uh, some bottles of whiskey and other cultural stuff. Oh, okay. So that's and like then a, that's how it, then it's a spiral, you know? Like a friendly war. Yeah, yeah. A funny war. Okay. Yeah, it's really weird, Caps Good Mars. I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm going to be honest. All right, chat, watch this. We're going to... Out of, eh, eh. 
I saw this guy to go up here. I, I even think it's the oldest war, war if you can call, call it that, in the really in the world. Yeah, it started in 1930. Oh wow, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, I thought y'all meant like a real like gotcha gotcha kind of war. No, 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 no. Okay. Sounds like uh, don't touch me, I won't touch you. It's like now I put my flag here, now it's mine, and then the year after the other country comes back, I don't put my flag, now it's mine. Got you. You swap host. Uh, well, if somebody's paying for a server, they could move it to a different hosting location. You could definitely do that. I don't know. Would you be welcome in Denmark? You know, you guys are in a in a war. I don't know if Canadians would be welcome there, would they, Polygoni? Just leave the flag home. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rivalry. Okay. A friendly rivalry. Gotcha. So it sounds very friendly. So Canada brings like bottles of maple syrup. No, I think they trade whiskey. Actually. I gotcha. That's why it's called the Whiskey War. Ah, uh, makes sense. Okay. I got you. Uh, if it's cross-platform for PlayStation or for Xbox, it should work on PlayStation. It's the same version of the game, same mods and everything. You know what I'm saying, chat? Should be all the same. It is very strange, though. No promises. Well. Well. Well, the whole thing, though, is, like, the version of the game has to be the same across all platforms. You know? That's what I was kind of getting at. You know? Air Canada flies to Denmark. Right. I'm on it. Wait. A cat skip marks that is strange. Very, very strange. When you get up here and start just gonna be done. Eh. Got a little ways to go, huh? I got a red gun line. And I'm here to help. That's kind of handy, actually, the header cart on a on a tractor. So I don't have to back up to it from in cab because you know the fly Canadian. Ooh. Because that is the thing, uh, Captain Skidmarsh there, that is definitely a thing to make sure you guys are all on the latest mods. Is you being on the console, you're probably going to update your mods uh, faster than he might want to on a, on a server. Because I know we ran into the issue with the Field Creator mod. Uh, people had updated theirs out of the mod hub, but we had not updated the one on the server. So we actually had to update the one on the server side. Uh, to get it to work. Our people had to basically share their files, share the, the mod with other people so they could actually join. It was kind of a whole thing. But yeah. 65 and blue. It was 83 here yesterday, 82. Rocky Mountain, and today I, we're going to be lucky to crack like 45. Yeah, so you know? here it's like 41. Yeah. Cold. Yeah, it's it's chilly out there today. It's nice in here though. I don't. I, the only heat source I have on today is my uh, floor pad, floor mat for my feet, which is kind of nice. So yeah, gotta have my heated uh, floor mat on. Best thing ever. Yeah, it was good. Mark's all good. All good. 
You have 15 inches of ice on the lakes in Michigan still, really? Wow. Rocky Mountain 20 is not bad if the sun's shining. And no wind. 20, yeah, no wind. The big thing around here is the wind, yeah. You ain't got no wind. 20 is not bad. So you could wear like a t shirt out when yeah. it's like that cold if it's not windy. I've been outside at my farm before when it was like, it was literally like zero. But the sun was shining. I was wearing a black coat and there was no wind. And I was like, this is, this is fine. This is literally, I can spend all day out here as long as there's no wind and that sun's a shining and on my black coat, I was nice and warm. I, I really was. You'd wear shorts in that. My one brother, like in the winter still does it today, but like I can vividly remember going sledding. I don't know if we're going to hit her out, Sarge. I'll just back up. Uh, I can remember going sledding, uh, growing up and he was wearing shorts sledding like snow on the ground yeah and he was wearing shorts i made one round look at me helping sarge <laughs> i love hey the refresh uh the refresh mod is what did it otherwise we wouldn't have had this nice ranger i am in st louis St. Louis, Missouri. So yes, sir. Right in the heart of the Midwest. Don't ask. Uh, don't ask a funnier one though. If he's in the Midwest, okay. You're not in the Midwest, Shane. Part of Canada. Yeah. Right. You have 20 foot snow drifts in the trees. Holy cow! Oh, hey, you know what, Chad? I lied. It's going to be 55 today. But it was 80. 84 yesterday or something silly like that so it a lot different 70 here yesterday yeah a whole lot different that's for sure uh do we have uh we don't have a tipper up here right now do we holy god he's running but don't worry chat saturday 76 degrees i will have to have air conditioning on um out here on uh saturday yeah. Sounds like things you do in Wisconsin. Right? All right. In a tipper chat. Be sure in shorts when it's 40. Heck yeah. After, especially after this winter. This winter's been cold. And it's dragged out. It's, yeah. Yeah, I feel like, well, it was weird because like this winter kind of came in like a, like a lamb, you know, and it's going out like a lion. At least there for a little while it was. Um, and holy God, you're good. No, no rush. You know? You're good. All right, Sarge, what field are we going to next? You know, there's Sarge here right now. Next closest one is above. Okay. I just took my header off for no reason then, didn't I? <laughs> my pipe out or? Nope. I don't know if I can see the pipe from this cab. That's a problem. I can't see it from the cab, Holy Audio. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't know how close we are to complete this one. Which one? Oh, we are close to having this one finished. Hmm. Uh, the only reason why I'm paying attention to that, this is wheat. So oh. the excess could be saved for chicken. Chickens, yeah, true. Oh, so the tires got full. Oh. I wonder why you stopped midfield. Not going to lie. All right, I'm off to the next field. Going to 11. Did I lose my header? No, I put it on the header cart. So, uh, Rocky Mountain, the, the, or the contract that I've accepted, we got to come by in a header, a header cart, a tractor, and a tipper. Well, we got Holy Goaty running our tippers. So, really, this is just a spare tractor. So, I put it on the header cart. Of course, me having to drive in cab 
it kind of makes sense to have the header card on a tractor, right? So I don't have to, you know, try to back up to it all the time. And so, uh, right? It kind of makes sense to send it on its way with the AI guy. Oh, you didn't see that? Okay, I got you. It's all good. Yeah, we're doing contracts right now. We're in contract time right now. Sarge, Sarge got uh, several of the uh, harvest contracts, so might as well run them up. You know, it's money. Uh, Hunter, last week we took part in the uh, charity event called Farming February. And basically a bunch of farm simmers uh, uh, all kind of joined up in a way and uh, were raising money for a charity called No Kid Hungry. And uh, basically if people made a $100 donation or more, we added an hour to the timer. And well, we've raised a lot of money. So um, we've raised over uh, 6,600, over $6,600. Uh, so I, uh, I have to play in cab. That's how much longer I have to play in cab is another 19 hours and 34 minutes. Um, I think all said and done, it's going to be like 40 odd hours of in cab time. So maybe more. I'm not even totally sure. It's a lot, but we're literally changing people's lives, um, through the charity 47 Bert. Okay. Uh, we're literally changing people's lives, so it's for a good cause. And uh, so I'm okay with it. it I'm, I'm ready to be out of the cab, and I'm not allowed to use GPS. I have to play in cab, no GPS. Which, by the way, I've started posting the YouTube videos uh, from this whole thing, driving in cab. I'm really making terrible thumbnails. Just so everybody's aware. Thumbnails are terrible right now, but... Uh, yeah, Hunter, out of the whole farm in February, uh, nobody's raised more money than uh, Puma Plow. Just throwing it out there. That's got to be a trackable stat in cab. I don't think it is. It that in itself is impressive. What's that? That we took number one, Sarge? Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, it is. As we like to say, chat, the Puma Plow way. Uh, hey, John, do we want to run this east-west or north-south? I, I don't know. Probably east-west, right? Okay. You, you got your east-west GPS set up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just run it. I like Enros. That's why I went across the end there. Uh, but, yeah, we are, we are definitely number one by, like, a good shot. So, And what's really cool, Hunter, is we've been doing some uh, sponsored streams with World of Warships. Hashtag will be on tomorrow night again. Uh, 6 p.m. Central playing some more World of Warships with the community. It's going to be a ton of fun again. Last night was great. I had so much fun last night. Especially once we started doing the, like, everybody first, like, Sarge and I. That was, that was when I was having the most fun. Just saying. Oh, yeah. It, it was. That was, that was yeah, a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was good. It seat. was good, friendly competition. Nobody got, like, too <laughs> serious about it. Nobody, like... I don't think anybody got like butt hurt over anything, you know. Yeah. Keep it friendly. I will say the last match. Yeah. I cranked up some of the AI ships. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, just a little bit. That helped us out. Nothing, huh? nothing ridiculous. You know, it's just kind of one of those. Yeah. We're probably out. still gonna lose, but I'm gonna make a mark. Sure. And I totally should have died. Left should have totally. If left would have hit me with one more shot, I was dead last night. Like that's yeah, all you, there is you to had, it. Like, a sliver of hell. Yeah. That's all there is to it. Left totally should have killed me last night. Um, but that's okay. Oh, you got heading out? Yeah. Have a good night. Enjoy your uh, KFC. KFC. Oh, it's already down the belly. Down nope. the hatch. Got a full belly, belly time belly. for bed, huh? Yep. All right. Well, have a good night. We'll catch you later. Have a good day, guys. Yep. Uh, but yeah, the Warships thing, uh, guys, if you haven't downloaded Warships, you want to like participate in the whole sponsor thing, uh, uh, the link is in the chat right there. It is, uh, it is a ton of fun. And uh, we're going to be running a bunch of uh, a training room. So basically, mm -hmm. it's, you know, whoever we invite uh, in. 
and we'll be yeah. doing that uh, tomorrow night if you guys want to play. It's a really good... Thank God, look at all the skipper I left. Uh, it's a really fun, just like, community night. Like Chuck was saying last night, it's like a, a just a good community game to play. And, you know, we can have up to 24 of us in there at the time, which we had, like, 12, 13, 14 of us in last night, I think. I think I saw, like, 14 of us. Yeah, we had a... Yeah, we had a crowd. It was fun. It was it was a good time. So, y'all want to participate in that? We'll be doing it again tomorrow night. So, download it, get your first ship, and you count towards the the whole sponsor thing. And yeah, for those of you that don't know, the, the obviously it's a sponsor thing, so there's money involved. I will be uh, donating a good portion of that money to uh, to No Kid Hungry as well. And any of these opportunities I get in the future with the whole sponsor thing. Uh, I will be donating a portion, good portion of, of any future sponsor thing too, uh, to charity as well. So, I'm not doing the sponsor things just to like pad my pocket, you know, chat? Because that's not what it's always about. Like, I was talking to my dad and my aunt about this, and my aunt's like, she heard like sponsors. She's like, ooh, money. And she's like, well, how much money you get? And I'm like, that doesn't matter. Not what it's about. The fact that I get to donate the money and and, and do good with it and change somebody's life. That's what it's about, chat. You know? That's what it's about for me, chat. Just saying. So, technically, I think we've hit all of our goals on the whole campaign. Or all of the, like, to get paid the minimum pay, which is still incredible. Uh, I obviously can't tell y'all what what it is, but uh, it's, it's incredible. That's all I'm going to say. Much appreciate everybody uh, clicking on the link and downloading and participating and stuff. And solely free for y'all, by the way. Hashtag ad. I'm done now. So how's the weather? <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> right? I got to there, Captain Skid Marsh. That's good. That's good. Very interesting. Your computer wouldn't download it? Why not? It should run on about anything, honestly. It runs on everybody's so far. Rocky Mountain, thank you for trying. I appreciate it, man. I do appreciate it. I can't condone that, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, everybody totally shouldn't. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Oh, yeah. Can't condone it, but remember, it's for a good cause. <laughs> no worries. Okay. All good. If nothing else, chat, I can guarantee that we will be at 7,000. I think I want to go right to 7K with the whole thing. The whole No Kid Hungry. I just want to hit right to 7K. We'll close the campaign on exactly $7,000. You know? Bert, you had to try three times if you got to go dang. The dedication, Bert. Thank you. You know, which think about what we wanted to raise was two thousand dollars, Jet. That was our goal. Thanks, Bert. You know, we wanted two thousand dollars, and we're gonna have we're. I'm gonna make it seven. You know, incredible, Chat. Yeah, it was good, Marks. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Yeah. Now, if we were to somehow get to 60, which would be a stretch at this point, I feel like, right? Oh, gosh. That would be... I'd be able to make a huge donation. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. 
Obviously, Chad, I can't get into numbers about like what the sponsor thing is, but yes, it would probably be a bigger donation than I made um, off that stream on that Sunday night. I thought Rob could help. <laughs> Right, Bert? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it would be, it would be, it would be crazy. Let's just put it that way. Not going to say too much, but it would be crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, there's those darn, what is it with, okay, these claws tractors. Claws, can we just say it now, chat? Claws tractors have the worst cab because of that window wiper motor. <laughs> Just because of that wiper motor. Uh, I don't know, Bert. I think so, maybe. I'm not sure. Not sure, Bert. That wiper motor is just, it's so big and dorky and like, why? Yo, Gun Show, what's up? Welcome in. And, uh, Sneaky, what's going on as well? How you doing? you mess so the only way to get your land back to not being able to do any of that would be to landscape it you can go in your landscape tools uh, shift and P if you're on PC and what you would actually have to do is you would have to paint like a grass like this which it says grass right it's really not grass. This is not a growable grass. You actually would have to plant the meadow as well. Meadow is what your grass actually is. But first you have to actually paint grass, which again, it's not grass. It's just like flat green. And then you go over top with your meadow and that's how you'd get it back. Now there's no like snap to grid or anything. Um, of course I can't landscape this cause we don't own it. But it's very difficult to paint it back and make it look like perfect, you know? Uh, the biggest thing for plowing a field together, honestly, would be the GPS mod. If you are on PC and can do that. You know? Gun show you're on a family trip. Well, hey, that sounds awesome. Tell your family we say what's up. And enjoy time with the family because uh, you never know when you... You won't get any more of that, you know? Just saying. I can do that in June. I have, I have fond memories, very, very fond memories of uh, family road trips. Where are you going in June, Trent? Of uh, cousin's wedding. Nice. But for, I'm not dry, or not riding with the family, I'm flying. Oh, really? I don't like road trips. Snakey, yes, I'm still at 19 hours. I am. Not looking forward to it, but yeah. With me being tall, I very creepy. Yeah, uh, GPS mod is a third party. If you're on PC, it is available in the mod hub. If Unfortunately, if you're on console, it is not available. Uh, it's in the mod hub under gameplay. It's called GPS or Guidance Steering, technically, is the name of the mod. But yeah. You save before plowing fields together. That's a great idea. Sneaky. Great idea. Save before plowing together in case you mess up, yeah. You turn off your auto saves. Turn off auto save and uh yeah, that's true. A good idea actually. Say with auto saving even if you hit escape it still saves it. Well it depends how long it's been. But yeah. Trent's not a Okay, Trent, what state is this wedding in? Mexico. Oh, it's in Mexico? New Mexico. New Mexico. Like on the other side of the country. Yeah, that would be a pretty healthy road trip. But I would probably road trip that, Bert. <laughs> like, okay, so VidCon, or not VidCon, uh, TwitchCon is coming up. It's it's in October, right? It's, it's going to be in San Diego. 
And and there's a small, small, small part of me that's like, it'd be kind of fun to go to, right? Very tiny part of me. I don't like crowds. I don't like being around a lot of people. Um, I don't really know what benefit I would get out of going other than being able to like, you know, maybe meet some, you know, big streamers maybe. I don't know. I don't know what benefit it would really give me, you know? But there's a small part of me that's like, I should totally go and like road trip there, you know? I have been to the uh, National Farm Machinery Show in Kentucky. Yeah, this vehicle safe. Uh, so this, I am on a contract, and if I go outside of the field, it complains. Yeah, you might drive a little faster, Bert. Nice. Just lost my game sound. Hello. Say that until you see the gas prices in Cali. Probably. But you know, it, if I'm like gonna go, yeah, dude, road trip would be kind of sick. You know, I want to see a bunch of the like west of the country anyway. You know. So, but then it's like, I don't like being around people, so never mind. <laughs> I'll just stay home. You road trip to Cali every summer. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, there's like a tiny part of me that's like, we should go, you know? I can borrow your car. Thanks. And then I'm like, dude, a train would be kind of sick, you know? Like, go from Missouri to California on a train? Oh, can you imagine? Like, that would be kind of sick. That would be a sick trip. Uh, right in Amherst, nice. I mean, that would be kind of cool, right? Uh-huh. Especially the bump mid one. Well, going that far, if you're going to do it, you got to get, like, the big one, you know. Uh, fundraiser total is uh, just over $6,600 right now. Don't train from that far. Dude, it'd be sick, though. It'd be sick. I get sick of it on day two. Well, probably. <laughs> probably. But I think it'd be cool. I don't know. I think it'd be really neat. Just like scroll TikTok the whole time. <laughs> you know? Just scroll the TikToks the whole time, man. You can go on a seven night cruise for less than the price of a train, really? Dang. See that's the other thing. I don't I don't I wouldn't want to spend the money to go like a hotel out there and meals and I wouldn't want to spend the money. Mama Llama, hello. Oh, how's it going? Welcome in. Welcome in. I think my ticket was three to a hundred for the, the room and food. Wait, hang on. St. Louis. Dark Lion 679 just resubscribed for two months. Dark Lion, welcome back for your, uh, your second month of subscription. I do appreciate it. Welcome back. How you doing today? St. Louis to San Diego is 66 hours of one way on a train. Oh my God. Could you imagine? Could you imagine 66 hours? Oh my God. That is such a long time. I would yeah, really, I, really like to have game sound again. Hello. I went on a trip from Texas to Illinois on a train and that took a day. Wow. Chilling with baby lot weight. Most, most nine month olds watch cartoons. She watches Twitch streams. Let's go. Raising her right. Yeah. I can't tell if my engine's on or not. What is going on here? Chat. Oh, that one's full. Your okay. spout. No, the, the front one's full. 
It's like, I can't, well, I can't hear if my engine's running because my game sounds gone, like chalked right now. All I can hear is my footsteps. I can't, it's, there's no audio in this game. Dr. Disrespect, where you at? And it stops numerous times along the way. Dang. Take a private bus. What? See, I've always, Chad, I'm not going to lie to you guys, okay? Once in Florida. Florida to DC, it was 19 hours or three hours late. Dang. Uh, what's going on, chat? Welcome in, guys. Welcome in, everybody. I've always wanted to, like, see the West. You know, I've always kind of thought, like, but, you know, I'm not, like, a big hiking guy. So, like, I wouldn't do a lot. I wouldn't do that. You know, I wouldn't do that, but I think it'd be cool to like go see places. Of course, I know to really see the places you gotta hike. Kinda too fat for that, you know. Oh, you can hear us. Yo, we're playing this game in October, chat. It's spooky, spooky farming. <laughs> I mean, we will be playing this in October, let's be honest, but you know. Hashtag spooky. What's up, Sarge? I said, of course it. Yeah, we'll still be playing this October for a couple of years, right? But uh, I've always wanted to see the West. I always thought like an RV trip would be kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. You know? Like have really no plans. Just kind of go. And like how far you get is how far you get in a day, you know? Mm -hmm. That would be fun. See the Redwoods. A bunch of stuff would be cool. We spent a week in San Diego last summer. It's really nice. They're nice. You want to take a dirt bike to California and back? All right. Okay. I watched an early grant from 19. Nice. That's 18. You have a motorhome. It's way more expensive than a hotel. Yes. Uh, where are we going next, Sarge? I'm guessing 18. 18. What about 11? 11 or 18? 18 is closer. Wait, where's 11 at? 11's done. We just finished Oh, that's that. the one we just did. Okay. Oh, it's it's done, but it's not. Okay, 18 it is. Right. 18 it is. I will send my header over there. Chad, I'm, I'm cheating today with my header. I just have it drive itself over. You're just using what the game gave you. Right? Right? I don't know where we need to take that canola, though, Serge. I'm paying attention. But yeah, no, I think that would be a lot of fun, but, you know, taking, taking two weeks off of streaming and stuff would be, like, channel suicide. You just, as a Twitch streamer, you can't do that. Like, that's just not a thing that we get the luxury of doing. You know, because if you're not online every day, then people are like, oh, the John guy's just, just gone now. And that's how Twitch channels, just, you know, vaporize. When I drive the header on, uh, depending on where I'm going on this map, there's places that are too narrow. So, as I just said, the contract gives you a header cart, might as well use it. But see, my brain chat, I'm like, dude, if we, if I get like an RV and then I put a stream setup in there, like a scaled down stream setup and like stream from the road, like get a Starlink eventually, you know, like that's where my brain goes, chat. You know, just run highlights 24 seven while I'm gone. I think people would get tired of that like really fast, wouldn't they? No, I would. But yeah, you, you know, it's just a lot of like Twitch streamer, unless you're one of like the big, big guys, you know, the big guys can take a week off. But I feel like at my size, that's not really a luxury, you know, that I would get to do. And I don't want to either. Let's be honest. Like when I took time off when my mom passed, like dude, there was definitely a hit after that for a while, you know, like you could, you could definitely tell. Dr. Lupo Project Intel. I'm not sure. Possibly. No, this is part of our contract. Part of the contract. Yeah, but even when 
Like you did that, you still scream. Leave it to Carson, you're sure all would be. Oh man. You sure I have a 60? Yep, yeah, there you go. Do I know when another UK map's coming out? No clue. Not a clue. 